Hello everyone, welcome to my channel WPF and in this video tutorial just I am going to use model first approach model first model first approach in WPF so this is the basic example here I am going to add it here that is the model first approach just I am going to add migration now just click to create button and you will see and uh, that's the logic wait for some time okay so now after that you have to add a new uh, folder that is name is model folder so add a new folder that is name that is model and inside the model you have to add a new class that is and application DP context class application DB context or CS file and here we have a new user class so empty file then the same is user.cs file now in the user.cs file just want to add that property that id username password first name last name email and the phone okay now just i want to uh, add application db context right here now after that you have to add some required packages And that package is, is entity framework. Uh, that is package is entity entity framework core. So here we have a entity framework core package Microsoft.ASP.NET core dot entity framework core. So here we have a package and oops Microsoft dot entity framework core. Where is not actually it's not exist entity from the core Microsoft dot entity from the core it's the package name but it's not exist so uh, if you want to add uh, manually so here the package name Microsoft dot entity from the core so just add this package in the project now the second package is actually design package now the third package is tool package and fourth one is the SQL server so the next one is the design package and next one is tools package So here we have the tools package and the next one is SQL Server. Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL Server. So here we have uh, the packages, the required packages actually installed. You notice that. So everything is, is installed in the, in the man file, you can see. So here we have all these packages. Now the next one is application DB context class. Now the next one is to add this uh, line of code public virtual DB set that is the users. Okay, so user is actually exist. So users on configuring that is protected void uh, override on configuring uh, DB context option builder option builder and like that. So actually on configuring is what? Okay, and but it's uh, supportable for the lambda expression. Okay, just leave this line of code. Okay, now the next one is override. on configuring it's not there okay 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 it's actually uh, here you can add ctor 
and on configuring it's a type of db context and now you can just add this thing because on configuring is, is actually a part of the db context so pro, provide uh, protected override void on configuring okay so here we have option builder.uc server and that is the connection string database name is model first db so model first db and trusted connection is true okay so everything is clear now the next one is to use uh, that is the user just i want to add it here and here we have a application db context class and now just i am going to add uh, on configuring method so now you can see in the package manager console just i am going to add migration add initial and here we have build started to undo this action and remove migration so that uh, the line of code is actually uh, know that everything is clear and migration is successfully done after that you have to use update database command so after apply this update database command you can notice that everything is clear and database is actually created so that is the model first approach in ASP, in a wpf uh, .NET code is supportable so you can use mvvm pattern in wpf and you will follow all these steps of the .NET Core and uh, and apply these uh, types of things in WPF. Okay. Now after that, you have to add some values. Uh, that is the man window dot seven file. And here we have you can add a single button control. And after that, like that, stack panel and inside it you can take button control and uh, content of the button is add items okay so after that click add items oops that is click add items and Okay, now just you have to add the application db context underscore context equals to new uh, application db context. Okay, now uh, after that you have to use underscore context dot users dot add new user with the this is the default user now after that you have to use context dot save changes okay so uh, just use this and now save the value in the database table after that we will go for message box dot show that is user created Okay, now save this value and uh, you can notice that just when we run uh, the first time you will see that that value will be inserted into the database table okay so uh, here we have a model first approach just i'm going to use it to save the data in the database table in wpf so uh, here we have add items and you will notice that your items will be added in the database table and proper masses is generated in the masses box that is user created okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos